I'm about to start my sophomore year here at the university as a nursing major. And I'm from Fayetteville, so feel free to ask any questions. Um, I'll be behind the camera today, so I'll see all your comments and we'll be sure to answer all those for you guys. Okay, um, so right now we are outside of Holcomb Hall. It is home to our international student population as well as our uh, in ISS, the International Students and, Scholars. Students and Scholars Office. So if you are an international student living here, that's going to be a really good place for you to have close to home. Um, Holcomb Hall is also right across the street from our Pat Walker Health Center. It's been newly renovated, so it's nice and ready for you guys when you arrive in the hall. Um, it also is next to Northwest Quad, which is where your dining hall is going to be, Fulbright Dining Hall. Um, highly recommend the ice cream, the soft serve ice cream. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. Um, and then they have a great stir fry, pasta area, and great omelets in the morning. So look forward to that. And then next door is going to be Future Hall. You can't really see it from right here. And then the bookstore. So you have really great access to lots of great things on campus. You're directly on Garland and Maple, which is a great spot for you to be. You're close to the center of campus, you know, the Union. So, and then the library is like right up five minute walk away. So yeah. if you're there late at night, you can just hop right on over. So I guess we can go inside now. Yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let us know. We'll love to answer them. We're going to be touring um, the hall and some of its features, see a room and a bathroom. And if you have any questions, ask us. Let us know where you guys are from. We love to hear that. Um, Courtney's from Arkansas and I'm from Texas. So we have that little <laughs> banter going back and forth about which is better. Of course, we know which one is. Texas. Oh, 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 oh. that one, right? What's that about? So this is going to be the front lobby area of Holcomb Hall. Um, it's going to have your front desk. It's also where you can access the ISS office. It's being renovated right now, so you can't go in there. But when you guys come in the fall, you should be sure to stop in there. It's a really great office. Um, I think they're located over here right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're, like, they're located over here for now while they're being reconstructed. Yes. But then it'll be to the left of the front desk. Um, so we'll come over here and we can go inside this little lounge area right here. It's going to. I can go in there. You can go in there? Yeah, we can go in there. Okay. To show that this is a common space. Yes, this is a great common space that will be accessible for you guys coming in the fall. It's just being used right now. Um, but it's a great little place that there's chairs and places to hang out. So you should be sure to stop in here in the fall and hang out with your friends, get to know people. Highly encourage that you, you know, get out of your room those first couple days, get to meet people. It'll be a great experience for you. I think there's another study room up there. And yeah, International Students and Scholars is in this office right now. Just as we're uh, redoing it. Yes. I don't think that one's open. We, well, you, there's additional space. Yes, there is. So, we'll go into the break room, which is going to be off of the front hall. We do have popcorn going in here, which smells amazing. Yes. <laughs> So we're going to go into our first little kitchenette area. It's going to have a sink, a fridge, and a microwave. So if you know you want to have a little snack with your friends and hang out in the big room, you can you know, store it down here and come get it later. Um, be sure to wash your own dishes. Keep it clean for everybody because everyone uses it. But yeah, it's a great little space to store things. You don't always have to have a fridge in your room. You can just store things in here. So you can save on space. In your room. You can have more seating for friends and less functional. This right here is called the music room yes. because of the grand piano. Yes. If you guys have any musical talents, you should be sure to stop it here. It's a great way to like introduce yourself to people and to <laughs> make friends. I can't play. I tried to learn as a kid. Never really got the hang of it, but I'm sure some of you guys have the talent. <laughs> So Nick commented and said that he stayed here last year and he's staying here again. Love this dorm a lot, so much to do. So. Yes, there is so much to do in this one. This is a very active dorm. Hey Nick, nice hey. to meet you. 
Um, so yeah, music room. There's some trophy cases in here for things that they've won in the past. Um, so, you know, this canvas is full of activities and things to do. Um, if we come through here, we're going to stop in at, I think it's called the, just like the living room area. Um, so the parlor, I think the they refer to it. But it has great seating, a full table, you can sit in here. There's great little window seat area to you know, sit down, read a book, hang out. I knit, so this would be a great place for you to knit or crochet if you're into that. Nice. Uh, there's a nice fireplace, which I'm sure they'll turn on in the winter. Keep it nice and cozy in here. Uh, great, more seating. Uh, but this is also where they hold a global series every month where an international student will showcase their country. And so you can come down here, eat some food from a different country, and learn just some more about the world, which is a really great experience here in Holcomb. I think last year we had one on Japan. Yes, Maybe Japan. one on Honduras. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, there was one, wow, there were just a ton of them. But yeah, if there's a country that you really want to try the cuisine, I'm sure if you, like if there's an international student here, you should encourage them to do that because it's a great experience for all students. And did we say how many international students live here? So the building has about 140 students, and it's about a 50% ratio of international students. So there's quite a lot, but there's also a lot of regular, just traditional students who live in this building. So it's not just international students. So I highly encourage, even if you're not an international student, you should come hang out here, get to know the people. They are. I um, had some international buddies last year, and they were really great, nice to meet them. They came home with, for Thanksgiving with me. And so it's always a great experience to just get to know different people from different cultures. Wow. So you like opened your home to them on Thanksgiving? Yeah, they came, uh, they drove down with me for the week and oh, nice. stayed with me and my mom. It was really great, took them to our Thanksgiving. Very cool. Yes. And International Education LLC is located in here as yes, well. Yes, it is. Which is one of our living learning communities. Uh, are you, are you are you are you are uh, so we're going to come down here mm -hmm. and make our way to the basement. Okay. So then, yeah, you would need to Can we show off the mail? Yes. Yeah. So as part of the university, your mailbox is going to be here in Holcomb Hall, but your packages, you have big packages, they'll come to Northwest Quad across the street. So that's where you'll, you'll get an email when you get a package from the university. You have to wait for the university email because it might take some time for them to process it. But you'll get an email, you'll go across the street, use your student ID, and pick up that package. Uh, so we can stop over here. So each building comes equipped with a fog security system. It keeps you safe. That means you have to live in this building in order to get into the building. And so there's an extra level of security because there's an office in here. That means you have to fob into the stairwells and into the elevator. So that means that no one who's just walking around here who doesn't belong here. You have to go get your friends. And let's point out international students and scholars even though they're under construction right now. So this is the office. It's being renovated. It'll be mm -hmm. nice and pretty when you guys get here in the fall. Uh, and they're currently moving their materials back in slowly. Yeah. Trying to get ready for August, yes. Yeah. You can come to advising in here, things like that. Occasionally we lose our contact while we're in the elevator, so just be aware, it'll come back. We have to fob into the elevator in order to get around, so make sure you always keep your keys on you. And if you do lose your keys, you can always get a loaner set until you can find them, or if you can't find them, until they can replace them. You just go to the front desk and they can work that out with you. There is a charge for losing your keys, but it would be better to lose them and tell someone than lose them and not tell someone. <laughs> but yeah. So this is the basement level of Holcomb. Um, it's also currently under construction. They're redoing this um, common room down here. But it's going to look so great when you guys get here in the fall. Yeah, over the years they've gotten, you know, a little bit weathered as things do, and this bright new paint is going to really activate this room and make it look much. There's going to be a ping pong table and a pool table in here, so if you have a game, you should be sure to bring that when you come in the fall, because I know many ping pong tournaments go on in here. So, this is going to come into our full kitchen area. 
There's a tiny one upstairs, but downstairs is where the actual kitchen is. So it's going to come with a stove and an oven, a sink and a full fridge, and a microwave. There's also storage if you have things that you need to store down here. Um, but again, that's at your own, like, disposal. like, if you feel comfortable with that, you don't have to. Um, what's one of the uh, best, between the two of you, what's one of the best meals you can make in the residence hall itself? Pizzas. Okay. Uh, tacos. Cookies. Cookies. Lots of cookies. Cookies are always a popular. And brownies. Thing. Brownies and cookies. Cookies, brownies. Um, I know since this is an international dorm, you might get someone who's making some different type of cuisine. So, you know, stop in, make some friends, maybe they'll share it with you. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. Um, so with cookies, all you have to do is you just get the roll and you just cut Yeah, you just slice them. them. Yeah. You can check out materials upstairs at the front desk. And then you can just come down here, bake your cookies, clean it, return it upstairs, get your ID back. Yeah. And be uh, king or queen of the residence hall, right? Yes. You cookies. will make friends that way. You yeah. bring cookies, you, make cookies, you, make you friends. get friends. <laughs> right. right. Cookies equal friends. But yeah. It's a great place to, you know, meet people and hang out and just experience a different culture. Um, so down here is just some more residence halls. They do, there are people who live on the basement level, um, but we'll just come down and look. So you'll have rooms this way and then this way. Oh. And then there's a common bathroom down here, but I think we're going to go upstairs first. Yeah, I think we'll show the community bathroom upstairs. Yeah. Um. Um, but yeah, does anyone have any questions for us? So far, um, Holly wants to know what the dimensions are in the single style room. Like water. Oh, yes. So another big thing for the university is our uh, water bottle filters. Um, it helps save us plastic because everyone's not using plastic water bottles all the time. I think this past year we saved 17 tons of plastic, which equals like 130 tons of plastic over the past five years. So, you know, we're really committed to, you know, keeping plastic out of the landfills and just being sustainable on mm -hmm. campus. So, yeah. You can just get a reusable water bottle and just fill her up. Which is so much easier to use than those old water fountains. Yes. You have to like twist it around to get it right. It's made for water bottles. Yes, it is. And you can feel better about saving the earth one water bottle at a time. One water bottle at a time. Do you have a do you have a water bottle that you uh, I do have around? a couple of different ones. Um, I have a big Yeti I got for Christmas last oh, okay. year. Yeah. So I try to like fill that up like three times a day to get my water in. It's a lot of water. That's I know, great. but it's been my goal this summer to drink more water. I need to do that. What about you? Do you have a water bottle? You get metal or like wood? You know, I prefer metal just uh -huh. because I don't know. It's easier. I think it's easier. I think like it keeps it cold too. Mm -hmm. So but I have a couple that I go back and forth using. This is going to be your laundry room. Um, it's going to have a wa four washers and six dryers over here. There's some tables so you can hang out down here if you're doing laundry, but you don't have to because we have an app that you can download so that you don't have to sit down here. It's called Laundry Alert. So all you do is download it, put where you are, and it can tell you which washers and dryers are open and which ones aren't. So you can put like an alert on it so when it's free, it'll send you a message. You can come down here, put your laundry in, go back upstairs, do homework. It'll be begin when it's done. Come get your laundry, go back upstairs. No muss, no fuss. Mm -hmm. um, that way you don't have to fight people for laundry machines. You just already know which one's free. Yeah. There's no miscommunication about this one was my washing machine. No, it's mine because you knew which one was free. Uh, but yeah, and there's also an ice machine down here. There's a TV down in this one. So you can, you know, watch TV if you want to do laundry down here and not leave. There's some pinky machines, and they take cash, cards, Apple Pay, Android Pay. So if you're hungry late at night, everything's closed. Come down here, grab yourself a snack, head back upstairs. Oh yeah. No going outside either. Uh, there's going to be a couple folding tables so that you can fold your laundry down here because sometimes if you go upstairs and unfold the laundry, they never get folded. True. Uh, there's also a lot of recycling down here so you can save the planet. Again, sustainable you are. But yeah. Here's our recycling station. Yep. Uh, yeah. You 
could also turn you know laundry day into a party but you can figure out when to do it by yourself try not to do it at you know a friday night before like a big break that's not gonna work oh, yeah. because everyone's gonna be doing the laundry um, a sunday night after a large break don't try to do laundry it's not gonna work there's gonna be too many people who didn't do laundry over the break and come back to loads and loads of dirty laundry um, so you know if you're up if you know you're gonna be up late try to get your laundry in then because who's doing laundry at 11 o'clock except for you no one so that's a way to like make sure that you don't have to fight for laundry rooms for laundry machines either We'll go up to floor, floor three then. Yes. We'll go see a common bathroom and then a room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have the common bathroom. Nick, what, what floor did you live on? What room did you live in? Did Nick tell us he was from? He lived here before? He did say he lived here before, so okay. hopefully he's still watching. He can tell us. Yes, right. Security. Security. So you can't press the button on the floor you want to go to until you fob in saying that you live here. Yeah. It will tell you, it just won't light up if you don't live here. <laughs> Many people have sat in an elevator pushing a button wondering why the elevator is broken. It's because you don't live there. I thought it's broken. Yeah. Does anyone already picked out their major and know what they want to do? Nick lived on floor two. Okay. Floor two, Nick. All right. I don't, I don't. I want to show this little study yes. space, I think. So down here is going to be a tiny little um, oh, big suey. place. <laughs> a little big suey. Here's the yes. trash chute, by the way. Okay. Yes. So you'll have a little chair area. You can hang out in here with your friends. Get some work done. There's a nice little view outside. Um, great space to work. Plenty of plugs in here. Um, yeah. This is a 1949 building. You'll see a lot of touches that are kind of you know an older building and. A lot of character to it. Yes. Yeah, so this is the trash chute. So you can come down here, throw your trash inside, close it, and it goes to the bottom so that way you don't have to drag your trash can all down to the basement floor, which is really nice. But do not put cardboard in the trash chute. I repeat, do not put cardboard in the trash chute. You'll be very upset when they lock it and you're sad. Because <laughs> then they have to go and like pull it all out and it takes time. Yeah. And your RAs are upset and then the staff is upset. It's just oh, here's another one. And how yes. long were you in RA? I can hear um, I can tell the tone of your voice that you must have been in RA. Yeah, I was in RA for two years um, in Maple Hill South, so not clogging the trash chute, it's very near and dear to my heart. <laughs> uh, but yes, this is another common space, great couches to hang out in. Um, you know, you could throw like a pizza party in here or you know just hang out um, I'm sure you could bring someone's computer in here watch a game watch a movie just be together so Nick told us that he wants to do hotel management with a minor in theater and okay. Holly will be majoring in architecture okay I'm a food science major and so I want to go into research and development so you know the next new Snapple flavor that's me <laughs> <laughs> hopefully fingers crossed well, those are great great majors architecture yes. especially yeah. and, uh, Hotel management. I know we have really good schools for those things. For the architecture so. building, you know, you're pretty close if you're living here. Uh, it's about, about a five minute walk to the architecture building. And then hotel management, is that bumpers? You probably, yeah, you're pretty close too if you're in bumpers because on the other side of Pat Walker is the Agriculture Food and Life Science building. Right. So that might be your new home. And the Fine Arts building is only across Maple. Yes. So you know, great location for all those things. Do you know what you want to do, Courtney, with your major? Oh gosh, there's so many options. I think neonatal nursing would be really cool. Okay. I really want to volunteer more and get a feel for what I want to specialize in. So this is going to be the bathroom. Hello. So this is going to be the common bathroom. You're going to have great uh, counter space. Five sinks, great mirrors, so you don't have to fight for mirror space in the morning. Uh, you're gonna have uh, your toilets over here, and then back behind us is going to be the shower areas. 
So there's going to be four showers on this side. You're going to have a little enclave. It's like, you know, get your stuff situated, figure out what you're doing, get dressed. Um, and then if you go further in, that's where this shower actually is. And it's a really great size shower. Just get in here. Plenty of space. Plenty of space um, to do things. You set your stuff outside. Uh, we would recommend that you bring a shower caddy to hold all your stuff so you make sure you're not holding everything when you're going back and forth between the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, shower shoes, super important. Old Navy. Get yourself some flip flops. Mm -hmm. Just get yourself color. a pair, a cheap mm -hmm. pair of flip flops. It'll save your life. You'll be just a little bit more thankful. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all yeah. mentioned it in one of the videos earlier. When I was going through, I guess it was Walmart earlier, I saw ninety nine cents. Oh yeah, yeah. those flip flops. You know, hey, that's the way to do it. Out. So, um, as I said, I was an RA. So on each floor, you're going to have a resident assistant who's going to be on the floor to help you. Um, so if you have any questions, need help adjusting. They're going to be a great resource for you. Did you have a lot of students their first year come to you early in the year? Um, I had some. I had to go to a lot of them. Mm. Um, but so I always really appreciate the ones who you know, came and asked me questions. Sure. So Today we're going is, to 318. Yes, yeah, so if you live in 318, this is your room. So each room is going to have two beds, two nightstands, two sets of drawers, two desks, and two desk chairs, along with the two closets and the storage above them. So this is a really a great size room. You have plenty of space to you know, have your own separate little area. But each bed can be lofted to double the height right. so that you can put your desk and other things underneath it. So when you move in, this is where your bed will be unless you turn in something online. I believe it's you are housing backslash backslash forward slash forward slash <laughs> so close. Um, but yeah, that's where you can go to set up a maintenance request to have your bed lofted for you, which you'll really want to do if you really do plan on doing that. Because if not, you'll have to get here the day that you move in. All your stuff will be here. Then you'll have to loft it yourself. We recommend if you do that that you bring a rubber mallet. Yes, it's a really easy tool to have. These can sometimes um, get hard to get out, and so you'll need the mallet to knock them out. Yes. If you are going to request that your bed be lofted, please do that by the 30th of July. Yes, that's really important. The 30th of July to make sure that your bed is actually lofted when you get here. Anything after that, you know, we can't really we can't say that it will be when you get here. But yeah, that's if you choose. I know I had a problem getting in and out of the bed, so I had to lower mine. But, uh, <laughs> Some people really do like having that extra space in the room, so highly recommend. Yeah. I lofted my bed and put um, some plastic storage drawers under there so that there was just more room for me to store clothes and just extra stuff okay. like that. So, looking here. this is going to be your closet. There's a mirror on the back of the door, which is really nice. Oh, yeah. um, and then there's some shelving inside that we'll have Courtney show you. <laughs> One of those shelves. Um, it's broken, but we'll, we will get that fixed. Get that fixed for you guys. <laughs> it's really spacious. But yeah, anytime you have any problems like that where something breaks, housing.uark.edu forward, forward slash, slash you got fix it. it. <laughs> and you just put the request in, and the housing will come fix it for you. So the light goes out, you go to that, mm -hmm. they'll fix it. And now it breaks, the towel rack breaks, they'll fix it. Yeah, another closet. And then you're gonna have some storage above, so if you need to store things, you can put it there. Uh, yeah, I'm short, so I probably would never <laughs> store things up there. Um, but yes, this is your, gonna be your chest of drawers, which is really nice. Uh, all this furniture is movable, so you don't have to leave it like this. You can move it around to however you like. Um, and just find whatever makes you guys most comfortable. Yeah, if you guys want us to measure anything while we're in here, please let us know. We'd yes. be happy to do that. I'm measuring tape. She does. Why don't we go ahead and measure the mattress just, okay. just to do so. Six, 
Um, so that's going to be the bed. And it's going to be about uh, you know, six inches thick. Um, so, But there's also a firm and a soft side to the mattress. I think the twin, the full XL certainly fits it. Um, you have bed sheets by name, yes. by label. Do you have any room for which ones? I got the extra wide sheets. Mm -hmm. I did. I did too. Yeah. If you want a fitted sheet. Yes. Um, did we get any other requests for measurements? Um, um, there was one earlier. There was one earlier um, wanting to know the dimensions of a single style dorm. Do we offer those here? Singles. Oh, I don't know. If there was the dimensions, fault. would be on housing.york.edu. Mm -hmm. Underneath Holcomb Hall, like on the campus communities page, um, and if you clicked on the room, I believe it should tell you the the dimensions of it. Mm -hmm. But we can find that for you later. They do have all of the dimensions for every um, residence hall on that yes. website for you guys. So, so we'll try to find that for you uh, after this is over. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so each room is going to have air conditioning. Um, this is a building, I think, that switches over. Probably so. Most of them are that way. Yes, this is a building that switches from cooling to heating. That means when you guys arrive here in the fall, it's going to be on cooling, and then at some point, it's going to switch to heating in the winter. Typically, we change it up. About it fall break. Yeah, fall time. break. Sometimes as late as Thanksgiving. Yes. We really just try to do the best we can based on the forecast of weather. Yes, right. and so um, either way, if it's on cooling, it's going to blow cold air. If it's on heating, it's going to blow warm air. You won't be able to switch back and forth, but you can change whether or not the fan is running or not. So that might be able to help alleviate the temperature difference. So if it's super hot on a December day and it's on heating, you know, you can turn the fan off, open up a window, open up your door. You can also bring a fan. Mm -hmm. um, but the same difference if it's a really cold day in August for some weird reason, um, you can't bring a heated blanket and you can't bring a heater, like a space heater. Because those are fire hazards, so you're just gonna have to use use a blanket, blanket, use sweat. a blanket, get some sweat, sweatshirts, sweatpants. Yeah. Um, but yeah, opening the windows and the blinds and whatnot can really change the temperature of the room. So just be mindful of that and play with it to figure out what makes you most comfortable. Yeah. Uh, there's also Wi-Fi and Ethernet in these rooms, so you always have a connection. And we do offer cable in this in these rooms. Um, so you'll have access to HBO and a whole slew of cable channels. So all you have to do is bring a TV and we have the cords for you. You just plug in and you have cable. So I guess as long as there's not any more questions, is there anything else you want to throw in there? Uh, where? Um, go, to the, go to all the things you can, especially when you first get here. We do like a slew of welcome week events. So those are always great to go to to make friends get it, like, you know, familiar with the campus. Um, leave your door open when you guys first get here. It's a great way to meet people on your floor, get, like, interested in things that you're interested in. Go to class. Please go to class. And then uh, just enjoy your time here. It's really a great campus community to be a part of, and you're going to have so many memories and so much fun. We actually got another question from Julie. Hi, Julie. She said, what is the height of the bed when it's in its highest position? So each of these rungs is 36 inches tall, and it can be doubled, um, which is... 72. Yes, that, yes, yes, <laughs> 72. Uh, so that's as tall as it can go, and then the mattress is on that. So about 72 inches would give us the clearance. Yes, and it's, for me that was high up, because now I have to put that high up. It's really high up, it really is. Um, but you can also, you don't have to put it that high up. Yeah, if you can see there's little notches on the side, and you just kind of to use this one, you want to turn and just move it up. It's really easy. Um, there is a lock on these drawers that you guys have, which is really nice. You can lock them. So, can you show them how that works? So, um, when you put the lock in, you're going to put it into the between these two holes, and then lock it, and it can't open. And then there is a lock on your closet door. You would need to bring your own lock if you choose yes, to do bring that. your own lock. There's some towel racks on this door over here, so you can put your towel up to let it dry. See my little towel. When it comes to putting things up generally, we recommend command hooks. But at the same time, you're at your own risk. As you can mm -hmm. see, there is like a pink patch over here. 
That's because someone put a command hook up and didn't take it down properly. So that means it peeled the paint. And you can't, you are liable if you peel the paint yourself. So be careful, less is more. Um, and just make it your space, but be mindful of how many you put up. Because you will have to take them all down when you put them up. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's all of our questions, so I guess just sign us off. And you guys feel free to ask us questions even yes. after this video is posted, and I'll be sure to go back and answer them. And you can you join guys. us tomorrow if you want for our Northwest Quad um, tour. It's going to be at 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And we will let you guys know. But um, <laughs> It's on move in. Yes. I think there's only one tomorrow, and it's yeah. at 10 a.m. Yeah. But yeah, so join us for the other tours if you would like. We're going to be doing some more next week about the different facilities that you have access to. But yeah, welcome to the University of Arkansas. Welcome to housing. Um, we're really excited for you guys to be here in the fall. Yeah, thanks for have tuning in.